Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Platitude Era. Thank you for listening to us on YouTube, Platitude Era, Anchor App, Platitude Era, Spotify, Platitude Era, and remember, you could always reach us, Twitter, at Platitude Era. This topic today is um, a fan, I don't know if it's called a fan theory or a fan question. What would you say, or what would you call it? Mm, I'd say it's a fan wasting time. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I was on um, YouTube's. I was watching a video. Maybe you know him. Maybe you don't know him. His name is um, Emergency Awesome, and he did a video on uh, the uh, Black Spider-Man costume in Infinity War. I don't know if you saw that video. No. So there was this. Um, this video he did where he said that there's a deleted scene or, or there was an idea that Spider-Man would have multiple costume changes throughout the movie. He had his iron spider suit in Infinity War. And then when he was in Titan, he would get the black costume. I don't know if it's the black symbiote costume or it's just a costume that is black. And... Um, so they talked about that for a while, and then it was very interesting, and, and it's, it's a very fun community when you scroll down to the comment sections of Emergency Awesome. I know uh, other people, when you scroll through their, their YouTube videos and, and you scroll through the comments, it's just a lot of toxic, a lot of bad stuff going on. But in Emergency Awesome, it's, it's very clean, and, and it's a community of people that ask questions and other people that answer them, and, and just everyone working together. I, I really admire this YouTuber. That sounds stupid, and I don't think that's a valid opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, I found this one question, and it was a very interesting question. Um, this YouTuber asked or or said i think that uh when the avengers go to stop the civil war iron man uh they don't hire spider-man they hire nick fury and nick fury sends spider-man and that's a very interesting topic that uh where was nick fury during the civil war uh, not being written because it was already too stuffed of a movie. <laughs> but, you know, they found a way to write him in Avengers Age of Ultron, even though I'm going through the movie, I'm not even thinking about Nick Fury, and then cameo by Nick Fury. Yeah, it kind of felt like a shoehorn. <laughs> so, uh, just to give you guys a bit of a timeline, the first time we saw Nick Fury was in the first Iron Man movie. He was starting the Avengers Initiative. Then um, he shows up again in Iron Man 2 a couple times. But the the big key issue here was at the end of Iron Man 2, he's got this map right behind him. And there he's keeping track of people that are superheroes or people with special abilities. And then you have Avengers, which he's in. He unites the group. Uh, Avengers in uh, Age of Ultron to you know unite the avengers again they they it seems like in every movie the avengers have some kind of challenge that kind of starts to shake them up and they need to be pulled right back in together then you have avengers civil war where somehow tony stark knew about spider-man existing he knew his secret identity he even had footage of him and tony stark doesn't come off as the kind of guy That's on the social medias, right? But he builds supercomputers that can do anything on a voice command. And how come in previous films and later films, these supercomputers aren't like, hey, boss, you need to know about this or that. It's always something that he wants to know more about. Because he was initially more narcissistic and didn't care about other people. And let's not forget, remember, Tony Stark was at the end of... uh, At the end of uh, Incredible Hulk trying to recruit something or other because they didn't know what they were doing with the MCU at the time. (laughs) General Ross. Well, yeah. I don't know why you talk to him. (laughs) Go to Brazil and find Edward Norton. (laughs) They couldn't find him. Meh. Or wait. He hadn't built Jarvis 2.0 at the time. (laughs) So, you know, 
uh, to quote Tony Stark from the Avengers movie, Nick Fury is the spy, and this is data that he's collected and and people that he's aware of. And it's not such a far fetched thing that Nick Fury sends Spider Man into the Civil War, because uh, if you look at the Ultimate Spider Man TV show, Nick Fury knew about Spider Man, and Nick Fury was grooming Spider Man to become an Avenger. Mm, sounds like a load of hawk fooey. Well, let me know what you people think in the comment section of the YouTube video, Platitude Era. Or if you guys have any questions or any theories, type them up in our comment section of this video in Platitude Era YouTube. And we'll get back to you guys with our thoughts, our opinions, our debates, and let you know more. Is there anything else you want to add I don't, know. I don't think Nick Fury needs to be in these movies anymore. Like, like Shield used to be a through line in the earlier Avengers movies because you needed to like tie these movies together with something. So you'd have Shield stuff, and then Nick Fury seemed important because Sam Jackson's cool and he's a big actor guy. But then once people took the bait of like, hey, all these movies are t- tied together, and I like all these movies now, people kind of stopped caring about Shield. Probably why they broke it up pretty s- er- quick early on with Winter Soldier, and people were like, eh, I get it. My superheroes play together. This is kind of cool. I don't need Nick Fury. I still like Sam Jackson, though. But they broke up S.H.I.E.L.D. in a very cool way. Yeah, and then we didn't need it. <laughs> it was fine. I don't need a stupid government agency doing shit. I just want to see my big strong men throw punches at bad guys. <laughs> So talking about big, strong men throwing punches, uh, when Josh Whedon was making Avengers Age of Ultron, he added Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver to the movie because he wanted superheroes that didn't have too much punchy powers. What do you think of uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch? I mean, I guess they're kind of cool, but you don't really see them like... Uh, people still would rather see a Captain America or an Iron Man or, in this case, a uh, uh, Black Panther. You know, some newer, fresh faces. It's interesting that, like, these characters are introduced to, like, potentially, you know, be the new faces of the series. But they don't, it doesn't feel like they get enough screen time or, like, it's hard for an audience to care. Maybe because they're not in a solo film or something. But, like, oh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, they were pretty cool in that movie. And then it's like, meh. Nobody, I bet nobody remembers Quicksilver all that much. You ask a general movie-going audience that they see every MCU movie, but they're not like super devoted to it, and they're like, "Who?" <laughs> they was like, "Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that movie wasn't that good, was it?" Oh, that's true. I mean, people started theories that in Avengers: Infinity War, we would see Quicksilver, and then there was no hashtag Bring Back Quicksilver or Where's Quicksilver. People have been asking to bring back Coulson, but I don't think that many people care. Well, if you want to see Coulson, you have to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on channels. Well, who's going to be in uh, Captain Marvel, probably? I guess they gave in to those people asking well, for Well, I mean, Coulson. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they wanted him, you know, the diehard fans wanted him sooner. But I don't think people are watching watching uh, Captain Marvel and going, <gasps> finally, I think they're going, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well... Thank you very much, everybody, for listening to our podcast, Platitude Era, on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Platitude Era. You can find us on Twitter, send us a message, send us some love, send us a hashtag, Platitude, at Platitude Era on Twitter. Thank you for listening, and till the next one.